Okay. Morning everyone. Thank you for watching this video. This will be an instructional only video on the use of Game Loop of the ForFi ecosystem. Okay, so Game Loop is managed through capsule.gg, ThorFi's very own NFT marketplace, and it is not involving use of the D app. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the objective of Game Loop. You're going to have three main objectives. Your first objective is to acquire Odin Drift nodes through sacrificing your Odin Origin nodes and Thor nodes. And your second objective is to acquire key cards and capsules. And your third objective is to acquire perks to attach to your remaining Odins that you decide to keep for the long term future. So those are your three objectives that you'll want to be trying to achieve. And bear in mind that this is a completely optional process. You don't have to be involved in this at all. This is entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you how much you want to be involved. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. So if you just want to purchase the NFTs to sell them on the marketplace, you can do that as well. So the first step, we're on this wallet here. And so the first thing you're going to see is capsule.gg, you're going to see these, this game loop by assets and manager tab on the side left bar. Now this tab here game loop will take you to this instructional display, which will give you an overview of the process visually. But this also functions as a link tree, which is incredibly useful. So if you go down, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see transform, fuse, open and apply. Those are the things we're going to be wanting to achieve today. So the first one, transform. We're going to transform our origin nodes to our drift nodes. That is the first step of this process. So we'll click that link and then that will take us to my nodes that I have in my address, which is connected to capsule. So I'll scroll down to two that I brought earlier in order to, if I can find them, if I can, you'll see the names here. So Odin, I want to sacrifice the Odin called New Wallet. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna hit Proof, Transform to Drift and then You'll notice MetaMask pop up with a gas transaction that will occur shortly. So now we hit transform. Again, waiting for MetaMask. Okay, node transform successfully. And now that takes me to my origin drift node. Now I want now I also want a Thor node. So I'm going to go back and now I've got Thor nodes. I'm just going to select any Thor node. I'll select this one, Thor 61. And I'll hit approve. And then that's going to be the same contract. It's going to, for allowing Capsule to access my Thor nodes. First one's for my Odin's, now this one's for my Thor. And now transform. And there you go. Now I'm going to have two drift nodes. I'm going to have an Odin node and a Thor node. Okay, and now that we have our drift nodes, now we're going to do our first objective, which will be this stage here. And we're going to trans use our drift nodes to obtain our increase for our rate of Thor tokens. So we'll go to this section here, activate drift nodes. And there'll be a MetaMask transaction allowing you to approve your tokens. I've already done that. To approve the drift nodes, I've already done that. So now we're going to switch it to active and confirm to action. Now this costs one USDC, this transaction. You see drift node activation success. 
that node is now active. We'll do the same with the Thor node. Change it to active. Okay. There we go. So now we should have our own node and Thor node active. And they'll be active for a period of 90 days. Just going to refresh the page to ensure that that's taken place. And as you can see, here we go. So I now have two active nodes. And they will have, this pender rules will eventually tick up. But so those will be active for 90 days. And those are now providing me with additional rewards at the multipliers that was randomly designated to me, which is 4.5x. Now, so go back to the game loop page. So that was this step of the process. So those nodes are now active and they're now giving me rewards at the VR rate. They will then decay into drift node key cards, which I can fuse the capsule to using for the capsules. So, or I could just keep the key card myself for any future utilities that may come down the line. So now that step one has been explained in drifted nodes, now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about key cards and capsules. So now we don't have to drift origin nodes at all to obtain origin key cards. What we can do directly is burn them directly to receive a key card. So that's this section here on the transform box, origin and drift nodes to key cards. So I'm now gonna take one of my origin doors and I'm gonna transform this to a key card. And it's now a key. So now I have an additional key card. I already had one from before. Now I've got another one. Now we're going to do the same again with an origin. So I'm going to go back to game loop tab, go to transform again. And I always want I always want to, to encourage use of that link tree. I find it a very useful feature to keep track of this process. Now I'm going to go to Odin's and another one I wanted to drift was New Wallet 2. Okay, now we're going to transform this node. That node was transformed and as you can see I now have four key cards. So now we're going to do step two of the objectives of Game Loop. And that is, we're now going to fuse our key cards to create capsules. So again, go back to the game loop tab. I'm going to go fuse origin or drift key cards to obtain drift or origin capsules. So now you'll see we have four key cards. So we're going to click on two. And then as you can see, they'll pop up here and you'll see very nice graphics. You know, hats off to the people who made the graphics. This is a very, very um, successful endeavor. So now we're going to hit approve. And these two key cards will now fuse into capsules as soon as the MetaMask process is completed. Okay. Now that it's approved, we hit create capsule. Now capsule has been, capsule key card has been created you can get to watch this wonderful graphic. And now slide to open the capsule. Remember capsule is an NFT. You can put it on the marketplace, you can keep it, you can open it. Choice is yours. Okay, so I've obtained one perk from my capsules, which in this case happens to be a 50 Thor voucher. But I want something else. So we're going to go back to our key card section and we're going to merge two more key cards. So we go back to the game loop 
Manager tab. We hit Views, select the two key cards, and create a capsule. Okay, so now I have another capsule. And we're going to do the same process. Slide to open. Again, hats off to the creator of the graphics. Done a very great job. Okay, now we have a second perk. So as you can see, I have a 50 Thor voucher and a 50% temporary reward boost. So now we're going to go to our... So we're going to go to the game loop tab, and then we're going to go to the apply section so we can apply our perks to our notes. Then we're going to this, and then we're going to hit use perk. And now you see my notes that I can choose to apply the perk to. So this is a 50% temporary reward boost. So we want to apply it to an Odin, if preferable. You can also apply it to a Thor. So I'm just going to apply it to Odin 1. And then hit approve. And now that that's approved, we hit apply perk. Okay, that perk has now been applied. As you can see, it's disappeared from my my uh, manager section, and that's now been applied to my node. So we now can go to, and so we now we're looking at my nodes. We can look at Odin one, and as you can see, Odin one has got a perk applied. Okay, now that is section three of Game Loop. So in this video, we've covered covered obtaining drift nodes, activating drift nodes, obtaining key cards, merging key cards into capsules, opening capsules, obtaining perks, and adding perks to nodes. Now also remember, all of these assets are NFTs in themselves and can be listed for sale. So I'm just going to show you how to do that with the 50 token perk that I got. So we go to game, we go to the manager, and then we go to my perks. And we go to that bonus perk that I saw before. So I'm just going to go to these two dots and go to view details. And I'm going to, instead of using this time, I'm going to list for sale. So I'm going to list for sale and I'm going to list it at a very reasonable price. I'm going to list it at 50 Thor. So 50 Thor at this time is approximately So I'm going to list it for one AUX, and we'll see if someone buys it for me. NFT listed. So now this is listed on the sale, and if you go to buy assets, and if we go to perks, you can see that my bonus NFT has just been listed there. And as we can see on the marketplace, we have currently 796 nodes for sale, 97 key cards, 35 capsules, and 44 perks. That perk there is just listed my for sale. If I wanted to buy that, I would just go to this section and, and then, because this is my NFT, I can't do that. So, I wanted to buy it we can just say buy assets and then I can just simply buy any asset here by adding it to my cart okay thank you so much for listening to this instructional video on game loop I hope it's been informative I'll have a longer video coming in the future speaking about Thorfy in depth but for now have a very good day and I hope you all enjoy Thorfy and I hope you all enjoy Game Loop and I hope this becomes very profitable for you in the long term. Remember, this is a long term investment, not the short term. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.